Ave Maria Prisma, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. It's the Feast of St. Peter Chrysagos in uh, St. Barbara. St. Peter was uh, from Imola in, in Italy and uh, was the deacon of the bishop there when this, at, at Ravenna the bishop died. So in those days when a, when a bishop died in the early church, the clergy and the people would actually elect another bishop. They were a lot holier than we are. And uh, so they elected him and they, they, they took a trip to Rome to present him to the Pope and, and have him consecrated by the Pope, St. Uh, Sixtus III. And so the Bishop of Imola and, and his deacon Peter went along with him. Well, in the meanwhile, St. Sixtus had, his, had a vision at night where St. Peter and St. Apollinarius appeared to him. Now, St. Apollinarius was St. Peter's uh, companion in Antioch for seven years before St. Peter went to Rome. And then St. Peter sent him, so he was the first bishop of Ravenna. And they appeared to him, and in between them, they had this man and said, this is the one you're to consecrate, no other, to be the bishop. And it was it was Saint, it was uh, St. Peter Chrysologus. So when they presented themselves before the Pope, he didn't see this guy. And he said, I'm sorry, uh, there's is somebody else in your party. There's got to be somebody else. And they're, they're kind of confused. They leave. Uh, the next day, they, he has the same vision the next night. And they come back, and he says, there's got to be somebody else. And... Uh, and Cornelius brings his deacon, he says, that's the one I'm gonna consecrate. Well, that caused a great big uproar. So St. Sixtus told him, no, I've actually had a vision. And St. Peter and St. Apollinaris have picked this man. So then they were good to go. So he consecrated him the Bishop of Ravenna and he went there. His Greek, it was, that was the capital of, that, that was like the capital of the sea of the Western part of the empire in those days. And so he had a lot of Greek speaking people there as well. And, and the Greek Catholics there, uh, named in Chrysologus, which is golden words because of his preaching. One of, the, one of his sayings that's recorded in the, vib- in the breviary doesn't work as well in English, but it's, he who wants to joke with the devil will not rejoice with the Lord. And uh, you can see plenty of applications to that and what passes for entertainment in our day and age. Uh, he died, I think, in about 433. So that's a little bit about St. Peter, Chrysologus, doctor of the church. And St. Barbara, she's the patroness of artillerymen, of architects, miners, builders. And St. Barbara, she's from Nicomedia, third century saint. Had, Dioscorus is her dad. He's, a, he's a, a, one of these evil pagans. And uh, he wants to make, he, he, he actually basically has his, his daughter locked up in a tower. That's why that, when you see a symbol with that tower, that's, that's her, her sign. He, he has her locked up in a tower and doesn't really want her to have contact with anybody, especially not any Christians. And, uh, but somehow, through servants or whatever, she gets word that there's about, about Christianity and Origen's teaching. So she has a, a, a reliable servant go and talk to him about it, and he sends somebody, at, to basically camouflage as a physician, to, to catechize her. So she becomes a Catholic. And at one point in time, they're doing work on the tower, and she says, they're, they put in a couple windows. She says, I want three. And when her dad comes in to visit, why are, there, why are there three windows in this room instead of just two like I ordered? And she says, well, because the, the soul, there's, th- there's three ways that the soul receives light from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And he went through the roof and, and pulled out his sword, but she went running up to the top of the tower. So he gets up there and beats the stuffings out of her, drags her by her hair out, has her kind of locked up, tries to starve her out. She won't give up. up. So he drags her off to the prefect and denounces his own daughter as a Christian. And so the prefect has her scourged and tortured with the father standing right there. You can imagine what kind of a guy this must have been. And, uh, and then she's thrown into a dungeon. Well, our Lord appeared to her that night and healed her. So when they drag her out the next day, there she's healed. And they decide, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut off. He orders her to be beheaded. And so the father claimed the right to behead her. And, and, and this is the kind of guy he is. So he... He beheaded her. Uh, she instantly became a saint, but both uh, the, the prefect and he were killed by lightning. That's why she's a patroness of lightning strikes. Uh, you can pray for, for protection from lightning, fire, and, and a sudden death. That's what she's a patroness of. She's one of the 14 holy helpers. So that's a little bit on St. Barbara.